I'm going to purposefully be packing three lipsticks with me. excited for today's video. It is going to be my very first video in a series of travel videos. You guys know that I am going to be traveling this year and next year. I've been talking about it non-stop and we are coming up very close on my first vacation which is just a mini getaway to Las Vegas. I live in Southern California so Vegas really truly is just a mini vacation for us but it definitely is the perfect little kickoff to my travel series. For today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what I pack in my travel makeup bag. But if it is your first time here, I just wanted to say really quick, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notifications. I do post here three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And also, of course, make sure to follow me on social media. As I mentioned, I am heading off to Vegas very, very soon here. So if you guys want to see what I'm up to out there, make sure you're following me on social media. I'll be posting on my stories. I'll be posting on my actual Instagram feed and on Twitter as well. So those are the best ways to keep up with me and to see me traveling in real life. Of course, there will be a Vegas vlog coming up a little bit later along with a couple of other travel related videos that I do have planned coming up here. But to kick it off, I'm showing you guys what I pack in my makeup bag when I travel. This is going to be just makeup. It's not going to include toiletries or skincare or anything like that. It is strictly makeup because to be honest, there's a lot. So I wouldn't be able to fit it in a concise video if I did all of that. I did just get home from work. I'm going to head to the gym after this. This is why I'm a little bit more casual and also why... I kind of have crusty makeup, so excuse me if I'm looking a little bit oily, but we can go ahead and jump right into what I pack in my travel makeup bag. Okay, so starting out with my main makeup bag, I got this bag from Amazon. It was actually really cheap. It did ship from China, and it took about two and a half weeks to get, which is a lot faster than the original three to four weeks that they had quoted me. I really, really wanted a marble makeup case. My only problem is that on the website, I didn't see that it had this writing on it but it's whatever the case was a really really good price and it's actually a pretty good quality so I'll go ahead and let it go at least it's gold and I like gold so it's all good but opening it up this is what the case looks like inside and it's the main reason why I didn't end up returning this. It does have the adjustable compartment so that you can really secure your products. This is especially great for if you need to check your bag into an airline. For this Vegas trip though, I am driving myself so that's really not a problem. But you know, if I was flying and I wasn't able to have my bag with me, I wouldn't know how my products are getting thrashed around and everything. So having it in secure compartments like this would give you better peace of mind. So I might be adjusting these compartments as I go along. This is my first time actually using this particular case. I've used cases like this before and I've always noticed every single time I pack my makeup I always adjust the compartments because I pack a little bit differently every single time. But we'll go ahead and jump into it. The way that I like to pack my makeup is by going through a full face of makeup. So I think of every single step that I'm going to take in the order that I usually take them and I grab the products in that order. So the first thing obviously is going to be primer. For this trip I am going to be packing two different primers. They are both milk makeup primers and one thing that I do want to mention too is that the type of vacation that I'm going to go on does heavily determine the type of products that I am going to be bringing with me. So since I am going to Vegas in June I know that it is going to be hot. I already checked the weather. I saw that it's going to be cloudy so it's going to be a bit muggy there and I also do know that I'm going to be in the pool a lot. I will say you guys will not be seeing me pack sunscreen in this video just mainly because Trevor already brought the sunscreen with him. He is already out there in Vegas so I don't have to worry about that for this particular trip. But the first primer that I am bringing is the Milk Blur Stick. This is for more of my natural days. This is for the daytime when I'm going out, when I know that I'm not going to be wearing a full face. So I'm going to be relying on my skin to look as good as it can. This stick will blur 
all of my pores, it'll blur my lines, and it'll give me a more airbrushed finish. Even if I don't choose to wear foundation, this is going to make my skin look really, really great. And that one can fit just standing up, which is fantastic. It's the perfect height for this. The next primer that I'm going to bring is the Milk Hydro Primer. This primer will make sure that your makeup stays on for as long as you want to wear it. So I'm going to be in Vegas. We're going to be walking around. I'm not a clubbing girl. I don't like to go to clubs, especially in Vegas because it's expensive, but we will be probably walking around till about four or five in the morning, gambling and drinking. That is what I like to do. So I need my makeup to be able to last throughout the night. So I'm going to be bringing this for my nighttime makeup. So next is going to be foundation, starting out with my daytime foundation. You guys heard me talk about this in my recent favorites video. But I am going to be bringing the Makeup Revolution Conceal and define full coverage foundation. The reason why I'm bringing this is because it is very, very buildable. So if I'm doing a daytime look and I just want to cover up the areas of my skin that need a little bit of help, but I want to leave the rest of my skin bare, this is going to be great because it's going to blend in with my skin really, really well. And it's not going to be too heavy in that heat. And this one just barely fits in there, but it's going to be nice and secure, which is great since it's a glass bottle. The next bottle of foundation that I'm bringing is for my nighttime looks, and it is going to be the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I have recently fallen madly in love with this foundation. It is absolutely fantastic. It lasts so long and it gives your skin such a beautiful finish. I honestly was just so blown away by this foundation so I knew I had to bring it with me. It is going to make my nighttime face look absolutely flawless. And I am going to be bringing a third foundation and it is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. Now this is perhaps my favorite foundation of all time. I'm going to actually be bringing it in the darker color which is Chai. The reason for that is because I tan extremely easily. I know that these two foundations are on the slightly lighter side for me. So I'm bringing Chai from Jouer to mix with these foundations if I feel like they're pulling a little bit too pale on me. And the finish on this foundation is absolutely beautiful. You will look extremely flawless just like the pure one it does last forever so this one is definitely perfect to soldier on through the heat in vegas and through all the walking and drinking and all the shenanigans that we're gonna do so moving on to concealer i luckily do have travel concealer sizes the first one that i'm bringing with me is the Too faced born this way concealer you guys heard me talk about it in my most recent favorites video as well this looks like my skin but better again just like the makeup revolution foundation it is gonna blend seamlessly with my skin when I'm trying to do a more natural look for the pool or for the daytime. And it's also nice and lightweight, again, which is really, really key for the heat in Vegas. The next concealer I'm going to bring is, of course, my Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know that I can't live without this, so I had to get a travel size. This one is actually slightly lighter than the regular Tarte Shape Tape that I use. I actually use this to lighten up my medium shade, but since I know that I'm going to Vegas and my goal is to be snatched at night, I'm going to go ahead and bring the lighter shade so I can really really brighten my under eyes and all of the high points of my face and really have that strong contrast on my face because that's what I'm going to be trying to achieve in Vegas. So next is powders. Of course I'm going to be bringing my Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder. You guys know that I use this every single day whether I'm wearing a full face or a natural face. That is the powder that I finish my skin off with every single time. And then of course I'm going to be bringing my RCMA powder with me as well. This is a must. I use this and only this to set my concealer at all times. Next Next, we're moving on to contour. The first thing that I'm going to be bringing with me is my cream contour, which is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I do use the color F14 here. This is what the shade looks like. It is the perfect contour color for me. I love the stick to cream contour because it is so fast and a little bit goes a long way, so you really got to make sure to blend with this stuff. And then, of course, I'm going to be bringing my powder contour. You guys know how much I love this. This is basically the only powder contour that I use. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation Powder in the color Cocoa. And then bronzer. I am really, really stoked to be bringing this with me. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer 
waterproof because I'm going to be sweating like a pig in all of that heat and also because obviously I'm going to be at the pool during the day most of the time and this one is in the color Hotel Eris. I used to use the color Park Avenue Princess and I decided to switch to Hotel Eris because it's just a little bit deeper and since I know I'm going to be getting a tan in Vegas because if I spend 10 minutes in the sun I'm a whole shade darker so I figured I should bring the deeper shade because I will be having better luck with it. And in order to make this one fit I am going to have to go ahead and take out one of the partitions. Like I said I had a feeling that I was going to need to be customizing this a little bit while I packed. And moving on to highlight kind of I'll show you guys why in a few minutes. The first thing that I'm going to be bringing is a liquid highlighter with me. I love these Wet n Wild Hello Halo highlighters so I'm going to be packing one of those with me. I'm going to be packing Gilded Glow and then I am also going to be bringing this classic. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. The reason why I want to bring this is actually for body bronzing. I'm going to be putting it on my shoulders and on my collarbone when I'm out at the pool or out during the daytime. And I did skip over this one. Another thing that I wanted to bring was my It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the oil-free matte one because it does have SPF 40, so I'm going to use a very thin layer of this as a base on my skin during the daytime. And I'm going to go ahead and take another partition out so that I can pack it. And then another item that I missed was my MAC Strobe Cream. I do want to bring this just because I'm going to be wearing pretty natural makeup throughout the day and this just gives my skin a really really beautiful glow. And then of course I'm going to be bringing my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray with me. This one goes with me everywhere. This is the only setting spray that I use and I absolutely love it. And finally, last thing on this side of the bag, I am going to be packing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. This is just for nighttime if I want to have a stronger brow and I'm going to go ahead and put that right over there. And then we're going to flip it over to some of the smaller products. Now, if you are currently concerned about eyeshadow and blush, don't worry, we're going to get to that in a little bit. That goes in a different bag. Okay, so on the flap of this bag, I know that this is actually meant for brushes but that's not what I'm going to use it for. I do have a separate bag that I use for brushes which you guys will see in just a little bit but this is where I'm going to pack some of the smaller items as well as tools. So the first thing that I'm going to pack on the side is mascara. I'm going to pack my Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. This is obviously for my lashes and I'm using waterproof because I'm going to be at the pool a lot but you guys know that this is only for my top lashes. For my bottom lashes I am going to be packing my waterproof L'Oreal telescopic mascara which I'm so glad to have back. Next I'm going to pack my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This is a must because I'm going to be doing some really really pretty eye looks during the nighttime. and speaking of that it reminded me that I do also want to pack my Jeffree Star Magic Star concealer in the color C0 which is the white concealer in case I want to do a cut crease. And then moving on to eyeliners, I'm going to be packing my Stila eyeliner. This is the smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in Stingray and I'm going to go ahead and pack it in this little pouch right here because I don't want it to get lost. And then I'm also going to be packing my Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof eyeliner. This obviously is for if I want to do a cat eye which I probably will. And then over here too, I'm going to be packing some tools. I'm going to be packing my lash curler. I believe that this one is Japanesque. And then I'm also going to be packing my false lashes tweezers. I'm going to pack that one out here where I can see it. And also a pair of manicure scissors. This is for trimming my eyelashes or just any other emergencies. And then speaking of lashes, I bought a pair of Ardell lashes specifically to travel with. If I lose these, it's totally fine, but I'm only going to be there two days. So I figured I would just need to bring one pack to stay there for two nights. And at this point, I'll take a look at what I have packed so far and kind of fill in the gaps. I'm going to go ahead and pack a pair of tweezers just in case if I need to pluck my eyebrows or anything like that. I'll go ahead and pack it here in this compartment. Another thing that I've last minute decided to pack is this e.l.f. cheek and lipstick. This one is in the color Luminous Berry. These are kind of shimmery. I don't like to wear them a lot, but I'm thinking in the sun when I'm at the pool might be a good time to break these out. And then I'm also going to go ahead and pack a nail file just in case of emergencies. And I figured that this one would be a good one to throw in as well. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I like to use this on my brow bone to lift it, obviously. And then also on my waterline because it's the perfect nude for my waterline if I just want to look more awake. And that was it for this bag. We're going to move on to two more bags that I usually take when I travel. Next, we are going to move on to eyeshadows and lipsticks. I like to pack them in this Jouer bag. I am obsessed with this bag. It is just so gorgeous and it looks so luxurious and so upscale. This was a limited edition bag that they did 
if there's still any lurking out there, I'll make sure to link it down below, but I'm just so obsessed with it and I had to have it when I saw it. So the first palette that I'm gonna pack is what I would put as my number one must bring palette with me when I'm on vacation. If I'm only allowed to bring one thing, this palette is it. And it is the Ofra Boho Pro Palette. You guys can see it's definitely very loved. This palette literally has everything that you need. So it's got highlighter, it's got Rodeo Drive, and it's got Blissful. It's got the versatile bronzer, and it's got two different blushes in Charmed and Raisin. And then also, too, this banana powder that they have in here is so brightening, and it works so well. Someday when this palette runs out, which I think will be never because look at how much product is in here, this will be my first refill. But this also does have a lot of really great neutral shadows and then a couple of these up top are shimmer. So that is the first palette that I'm bringing with me. And by the way, another reason why I love this bag is because it does fit big palettes in it. The next palette that I'm gonna be bringing with me is the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collab Friendcation palette. This palette is really truly all that you need to bring with you on vacation. So it's got the perfect neutrals in it to do a very, very basic eye. And then it's got some really great pops of color slash foil shadows so that you can do something a little bit more exciting if you want to. Now, since I'm going to Vegas, this is the secondary palette that I'm gonna bring because of those colors specifically. But when I go to Belize, or if I'm going somewhere where I know I wanna keep my eye a little bit more neutral, I would be bringing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette with me. The next thing that I put in this bag are any beauty tools that are not gonna be able to go in my brush bag, and you guys will see why when I bring out the brush bag. But the first thing is this Japanesque contour brush, which I desperately need a new one of because it's starting to get a little bit wide for me, but that's okay, it'll work right now through this trip. This one will not fit in my brush bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here. And then because you can never have enough highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Wet n Wild loose highlight with me. This one I think would be really, really pretty to dust on my shoulders and collarbone underneath the Laura Geller one. So I'll use the Laura Geller one to really highlight the high points of my collarbone or my shoulder, but this one will be kind of dusted all over it. Can't forget, I'm also gonna be packing my beauty sponges with me as well. I know that these look super used and super grimy. These are my older ones. I have broken into that pack that I got in my Ulta haul, but I kept these since I am traveling. I figured I would just bring the old ones with me so that I can throw them out when I'm done with them. So I almost forgot to pack my lash glue with me. I'm going to put it in this pouch over here again so that it doesn't get lost along with all of the other smaller items in there. Okay, and back to this bag. Finally, the last thing that I'm going to pack in here is lip products. So I'm only going to be bringing liquid lipsticks with me. You guys have heard me say it a million and one times. I am a liquid lipstick girl. That is the only thing that I really truly like to wear besides the occasional Bite Beauty amuse-bouche lipstick. I'm going to purposefully be packing three lipsticks with me and I'll explain why I phrased that in just a second. The three lipsticks that I'm going to be bringing with me is the Dose of Colors Truffle. I am blown away at how beautiful this color is on my skin tone. It's pretty nude. It's almost bordering on too pale for me, but in some looks it really works and it actually works pretty well when I'm wearing just a natural face so I'm gonna be bringing this one. Now as far as the perfect everyday universal color for me I am going to be bringing the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the color Stepping Out. This is honestly hands down my favorite lipstick of all time including formula and including color. This color works for me with a natural face and it also works for me if I have a full face of makeup on. It is just the perfect color on my skin tone where it looks like I'm wearing color but it's not overpowering and it's pretty neutral on me so it can go with just about anything. And then I'm gonna be packing one red with me and this is to go with my first night look because I am wearing a red dress. This is my favorite red of all time. I talked about it in my Ulta haul when I repurchased it. This is the MAC liquid lipstick in the color Dance With Me. And then the last lip product that I'm gonna pack in here is my Sephora collection lip gloss. This is the lip pumping lip gloss and this is just the clear one. Now the reason why I said those are what I will purposefully be packing is because whatever lipsticks are already in my purse are gonna go ahead and come with me. I don't unpack my purse before I leave so whatever lipsticks are in there will also be coming with me but these are the three lipsticks and one lip gloss that I want to make sure 100% I bring with me. Okay, so if you are still with me, it is time to finally move on to brushes. This is a Morphe brush bag. I don't know if you can really call it a bag. It's like a Morphe 
brush roll up but this is what it looks like inside it looks super professional but i have had this for years as you guys can probably tell by how grimy it is i travel with it all the time anytime i travel and i need to bring brushes this is what i use because i like the fact that i can see all of my brushes laid out so i can easily see if i'm missing something and also too it keeps me very organized while i'm traveling because i just naturally want to put the brushes right back in their slot so it helps to make sure i don't leave anything behind and that i don't get too crazy cluttered in the hotel bathroom though sometimes depending on how long I am staying somewhere or if I'm doing other people's makeup I may transfer my brushes into one of the cups that are usually in the bathroom there. So the first thing that I'm going to pack in here is a powder brush and the powder brush that I use is the Morphe M424 brush and then I'm also going to pack this duo fiber finishing brush for sweeping away powder if I'm baking and you guys already saw me pack my contour brush but as far as a bronzer brush goes I'm going to be packing this Japanese bronzing brush and this one needs to fit in a slightly smaller slot but speaking of contour I'm, I'm also going to be packing this flat head brush and then I only use a sponge for concealer and for my under eye powder but sometimes if I'm in a hurry I do my under eye powder with a brush so I'm going to be bringing the Morphe E 53 brush with me and then I'm also going to be packing the Morphe E48 brush. I use this brush whenever I'm using that banana powder that's in the Ofra Boho palette. And then for blush I'm packing the Morphe E4 brush. This is honestly the perfect blush brush in the world. And then I do pack two different highlighter brushes. I'm going to be packing one small fan brush. This is the Morphe M310 brush and then I'm going to be packing a tapered highlighter brush the Morphe M501 brush. And then I do skip around with placing brushes in here just because I like my brushes to be secure. So usually this middle section for me just doesn't get used. Moving on to my eyes, I only need to pack one brow brush. Honestly, I forget which brush this is. I've been using it for forever and I absolutely love it. And then moving in the order of how I would normally do my eyes, I always start out with an overall color and I always use the Morphe M504 brush for that. Then I'm going to be bringing the Morphe M505 brush. This is for my crease color. I'm also going to be bringing the Morphe R37 brush. I use this usually to diffuse and blend color. Another brush for my crease that I like to bring is the Coastal Scents BRC N06 brush. And another one for my crease that I like to use is the Morphe E22 brush. Moving on to lid color, I'm going to be bringing the Bad Habit Number no. 6 brush with me. And then I'm also going to be bringing a concealer brush with me as well. This is for foiled shadows. And then I'm going to be bringing two packing brushes with me. Both are Morphe. One is the R41 brush and the other one is the E18 brush. And then once I hit that side, I will start working backwards from here and I'll start doubling up placement in here. I'm also going to be packing this concealer brush, which I actually use as a eyeshadow color packer on the outer corners of my eyes and this dense tapered flat head as well again for the same thing in the outer V of my eyes. I'm going to be packing the Coastal Scents 5RB S01 brush. This is the perfect brush for an inner corner highlight and I'm going to go ahead and double it up here. This is for the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. If I want to go ahead and do a cut crease, that's what I use to blend it out. And then for the lower lash line, I bring three different Morphe brushes. I bring the M431 brush and then the Morphe E36 brush and finally the Morphe M432 brush. And those are all of the brushes that I pack with me. And I know that that probably seems like a lot of brushes, but... This is one brush container that still has quite a few left in it, and I have a whole nother brush container that has a ton left in it. But that was everything that I pack in my travel makeup bags. I know that this probably seems like overkill to some people, but for me, this is where I'm comfortable at when I travel. But that was everything that I pack in my travel makeup bag. It may seem like a lot to you or to some other people. It may honestly seem like it's not that much or even maybe the perfect amount. But of course, please make sure you're subscribed. You guys will be getting more travel content and you'll actually be able to see my Vegas trip in an upcoming vlog. So make sure that you have your notifications turned on. Don't forget to thumbs up this video so I know to do more travel videos. Follow me on social media and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.